And all of these things are directly related to Luke chapter 3, every single one of them. How this came also to be understood was the revelation of the end of days. And we're going to touch on that. We've, it's been a while since we talked on that, but we're going to talk on that as well, just briefly. So look at what happens. You follow his age, you follow his age. At the beginning of 27 AD, right? So at the Feast of Weeks, 27 AD, he completed 28 years, right? He celebrated his 28th year birthday. So from the day after at Feast of Weeks, the day after until Feast of Weeks 2028, Jesus completed 29 years. You following me now? You see why this is so important? This is where you begin at your birth, your first year. This at your birthday is when it is completed. This is the start of your second year at your birthday celebration is the completion of your second year. <clears throat> and that's what we're seeing here. So in 27 AD, he had completed at the Feast of Weeks, 27 AD, he completed his 28th birthday. In 27 AD, at the Feast of Weeks, or you could say that day after the Feast of Weeks, until the Feast of Weeks of 28 AD, Jesus completed his 29th year. So at the Feast of Weeks or day after Feast of Weeks in 28 AD, what did Jesus begin to be? Well, he began his 30th year, didn't he? Are you following what I'm saying? In the beginning at the Feast of Weeks or see the Feast of Weeks in 2028 was his birthday. So it was his birthday for what? having completed 29 years. So no different than the 70th. When the 70th year is done, and somebody would say, oh, it's the, 70, it's the 71st year in six months. Well, really, it's not anything to do with the 70th. It's six months into the 71st year. 70 is already done. It's the exact same context. At the Feast of Weeks of 28 AD, Jesus completed his 29 years on earth. On the Feast of Weeks, or I guess the day after the Feast of Weeks, in 28 AD, what does that mean? That would mean Jesus began to be what? He began at the day after Feast of Weeks, 28 AD, Jesus began his 30th year, right? It couldn't have been his actual birthday when he turned 30. Because then he's not beginning his year, he's ending it. You following me? He's ending it. So the day after, at the time of the Feast of Weeks in 28 AD, <clears throat> what can be said about that time frame? So that the Feast of Weeks of 28 AD or the day after of Feast of Weeks, in that time frame, shortly after the Feast of Weeks, Jesus what? Jesus began to be 30 years of age, did he not? Yes, he did. Let me show it to you right here. Talk about a nitty-gritty detail of revelation in this. In Luke chapter 3, this is what we've shared in the past. In the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar's reign, right? Well, we know because the coins on the Shroud of Turin, the coins on the Shroud of Turin, because of all the laser and technology that they have now, that they've had for years, they've got so much precision. They could see the energy that came from it, and it, it actually gave all, oh, it's, it's absolutely incredible. And it absolutely was the Shroud of Turin. It, it is the wrapping of Christ. So, and we've been able to prove it from many other revelations as well. But what happened is the coins that were seen that were imprinted from his eyes, they saw that the marking on it, as we shared in the past, the markings were from the 16th year of Tiberius Caesar, and they were stamped 29 AD. That was the meaning of the stamp. It was 29 AD, which was the 16th year of Tiberius Caesar. Okay. Well, this is the 15th year 
of Tiberius Caesar, which means in the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar, it was 28 AD, not 29 AD, because in 29 AD was the 16th year of Tiberius Caesar. So the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar would have been 28 AD. So here we are, Jesus begins to be 30, which means he didn't have his birthday. He was just starting his 30th year because began means start. That's right. It was what? Jesus began to be 30 in 28 AD, right? Which was the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar. And in 29 AD, it says that those coins were the 16th year of Tiberius Caesar in 29 AD, which means 28 was the 15th year. Well, if you follow what scripture says, in the 15th year of Tiberius Caesar, what do we read about Jesus? Luke chapter three, verse 23, and Jesus himself began to be about 30 years of age. Have you ever scratched your head on that one? Have you ever looked at that one over the years and just wondered, what's with the strange wording? I have. We've talked on this many times over the years. It's one of those ones, it's, it's a head scratcher. But you know what the assumption has always been? The assumption has always been, he turned 30. We'll use this three as 30. So he turned 30. You see, the assumption is he turned 30. And then this side is his, the rest of his year. It's not even possible. Do you understand that? It's impossible that he literally had his 30th birthday and then it was in his 30th year. This is not the beginning of the 30th year. At the end of 29, day one after his 29th birthday is the beginning of his 30th year. Not maybe, I'm not making it up. It's a fact of life. So when we see this wording <clears throat> that says began to be, for, for a few years, I was no different than everybody else thinking, okay, he turned 30 because that's what we do. That's why I said that earlier about what we do with our age. We, we take it to our age and we say, ah, I turned 50, so now I'm 50 and a half. No, I'm in my 51st year. I've already finished 50. You see that? It's wild. 